Hey everyone, this is Charles with American Nautical, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install electronic charts for your Time Zero Professional software. So the thing that you need to keep in mind is the software will accept two main types of electronic charts. The first one are the MM3D electronic charts that come from Time Zero and, and, and Furuno. The other type of electronic charts that the software will accept are the commercial S57, S63 electronic navigation charts. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install both types of chart formats. So when installing MN3D uh, charts that come from Time Zero, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your email. And when you order charts from American Nautical, you'll be receiving an email from us that will have the link to download the chart as well as the unlock code for you to access the chart in your software. And what you're gonna wanna do is find the chart you wish to load and go to the unlock code column and copy the unlock code, then go back to time zero and we're gonna to go to the menu, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to where it says activate modules slash data. Here, you just click next. On this page where you see the UC, you're gonna to wanna to paste in your unlock code, and then hit add. And once you've added it, then you'll hit finish. Please note, in order to access and read the chart in Time Zero Professional, you have to enter in your unlock code. If you do not enter in your unlock code, when you try to install the chart, you will not be able to access it. So I, so for best practices, uh, just try and enter your unlock code first before you load the actual chart in the software. So once you've installed the unlock code into the software, we're gonna next load the actual chart itself in the software. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to this website, mytimezero.com slash charts catalog. And here you're gonna find the chart that you wish to load in the software. Select the chart and then click on the download to actually download the vector chart file. I already have it downloaded here, but you would click on this button right here to download the chart file to your computer. So once you have the chart file uh, downloaded to your computer, you're gonna wanna go to your Windows folder. You're gonna wanna go to document. You're gonna actually, what you're gonna wanna do first is go to your downloads, copy the, the chart file that you downloaded, then you go to Documents, My Time Zero Folder, Downloaded Charts, and here this is where you paste the, the, the vector chart file that you downloaded. So we're going to paste it in there. Now if you go to Time Zero, you'll notice at the top this green bar where it says Currently Installing. And you can see the progress bar right here. So we're at, so the software is loading the chart now. And we'll give this a second for it to load and render. All right, so we got our vector chart, uh, the MM3D vector chart installed in the software now. So that's how you install MM3D charts. If you wanted to uh, upgrade your types of charts that you wanna use in the software to the commercial S57, S63 charts, uh, what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna wanna subscribe to our other software, Spike AE Navigator here. Uh, which uses the commercial S57, S63 charts. So in our Spica eNavigator software, you go here to show, you go to charts, 
and then you're going to click on this yellow button to download the latest ENC charts. And we'll give this a second here for it to load. All right, so once we have the charts downloaded, uh, what you're going to want to do is click on this tab right here where it says Export for Ectus. And once the charts uh, are finished downloading, this yellow button will, will change to blue and it'll say Up to Date indicating that all of the ENC chart files have been downloaded into the software. So we'll wait, we'll give it a, a few more seconds for it to, to change color here. All right, so our charts now have been uh, downloaded. So now we're going to go to the Export for Ectus tab. And we're going to go to Export for Ectus, and you're going to go to Browse. And we're going to select a folder, and for this example, I've named my folder AVCS Exchange Sets. Uh, that's located on my desktop. So I'm going to select this folder to... Um, to export my ENC chart files to. So then once you've selected the folder, then you click on export, and then you click on AVCS. All right, so now my uh, ENC exchange set has been exported out of Spica. So now to load the ENCs in your time zero, you're going to go here to the top left and go uh, the top left at the menu. Then you're going to go to where it says manage ENC. Then you're going to want to click on the manage S63 permits tab first. And we're going to import the cell permit. And we're going to go to the AVCS Exchange Sets folder. And then in that folder, we're going to go to the subfolder where it says Permits. And then, uh, then the next folder. And then we're going to select this one right here, which has my permit. And uh, the permit file will look like this. It'll be a text document. So we're going to double click. And if the permit is successful in loading, you'll see on the status column here that it says Success. So once the permit has been loaded, then you go to the catalog tab, and then you click on where it says import. We're going to go back to the AVCS exchange set, 
And then you want to select the folder that says ENC underscore root. Click on that folder and hit OK. And depending on the number of ENCs that you have licensed, it, it may take, you know, a minute or two for, for all the charts to load in the software. But it shouldn't it shouldn't be that long. All right. So uh so we've now have both loaded uh the MN3D electronic charts from time zero into the software as well as the S sixty three ENCs that uh that commercial ships use. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about the software or would like to purchase a copy of it, please feel free to give us a call or drop us an email. Thanks for watching.